G'day guys and girls, today we have come to Couture Bay in Montenegro, one of my favorite places in Europe to do some time blend, my favorite type of photography. What is it and how do we do it? You're gonna find out, so stick around and roll that intro. G'day guys and girls and thank you for joining me here in Couture Bay, one of the hidden gems left in Europe which you're about to find out. One of my favourite places in Montenegro and in Europe. But we've come here today to do time blend. What is time blend? You're about to find out. It's one of my favourite types of photography. Moments in time, blending them together and what an allocation to take you guys on. But on this channel I've plenty of tips, tricks and reviews saving you time and money in your landscape photography. But mainly, we love to see what we're doing today. Get out in the landscape, take epic photos. So after this, if that interests you, drop below and subscribe for future content. But we're gonna get on with this hike because I'm sweating a lot. So roll that intro of Couture and let's get going. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. Summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Okay guys, here we are at this beautiful viewpoint over Couture, the beautiful, beautiful red roofs below me. The incredible, it's the closest glacier formed fjord all the way to the equator. So the most southern or the most northern in the world, which is very, very fascinating, super cool. But I have chased this image five times. This is my sixth location back. On the fifth time, I captured an absolutely epic photo from this location. It was a moment in time, a time blend, which I'm going to explain to you what it is. But one of my favorite photographers, one of my idols, Elia Licardi, does this type of photography. Moments in time, sunset, and obviously the buildings in this situation turned on, the lights, so about an hour later, and blending those two moments in time together, obviously getting you moments in time, time blend. It's one of the fascinations that I love about photography. I mentioned it on my seven reasons why you should own a tripod as a landscape photographer. That's what I'm talking about today. We need a tripod, we need time, and hopefully we need beautiful colors. So now I'm gonna get the tripod set up, find the composition that I want, and then we're gonna get into this, how to capture moments in time and make a time plan, so stick around. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna all right, you guys, so I'm all set up and I've already exposed some images. Unfortunately, I can't talk over it at the camera because there's quite a few people at the location that I am, so it's quite loud. But before I show the images that I've composed already, I want to take you through the composition that I'm shooting. Now, on the right-hand side of the image, there's the pier that goes through and it's on a diagonal. And at the end of it, it's got a beautiful, sort of modern but old sail ship. It looks absolutely spectacular. Then to the right hand side of the image, I've got the church, which is one of the main focal points. But the great thing about this and the composition is on the right hand side, the church stands up straight. So I can put that on the right hand side of the image. On the left hand side of the image from the bottom left, the pier comes in. Now what that is doing is it gives the viewer's eye direction on where to go. So from there it goes in and it gives scale in the actual ship itself. But what it does is it flows with the main focal point of the image and the main scale and the color of the beautiful Couture Old Town right in front of me. Now that leads into the glacier formed uh, valley here and gives great depth into the image. So all these elements give great depth. Now, unfortunately with this, because the sunset didn't really occur, obviously it occurred, but didn't give us those vi vibrant, vivid colors in the sky that we wanted. We're doing a blue hour shot now. So 
downfall about that is with the composition that I've done, I can't tighten the sky because it's quite well clear in the sky. So I might have to crop to 16 by nine, somewhere around there. But already I've taken some images that I've composed. Now, the great thing about time blending is you're gonna get two images out of one session because what I mean by that is you're gonna get this image right now that we've already shot. Now I'm gonna wait about 45 minutes for the lights to turn on in the beautiful old village, then blend that in. But here is just the pure, beautiful bliss old town of Couture in a very basic, simple image. So there is the image guys. Now, just a few things I wanna take you through on this. I am exposure bracketing because the foreground, which is the main old village, is sort of in the middle, right? So I'm gonna go middle, low end, high end. This is gonna make sense. So exposure bracketing. So the base image is at minus one, okay? So minus one, zero, minus two. Now, minus one is for the foreground, the actual old village, the zero, is for the mid-grounds, which is in the background here. Then obviously the minus two is for the bright, bright highlights in the actual sky itself. Now, it's basically right on sunset. Right behind me here, I'm getting beautiful colors, but this is the way I'm photographing, which is quite flat, the blue out image, which we're going to shoot. But in this, I, I want to explain this. I've done something a little bit different. I always talk about shooting 160 ISO native, but for this, I've got boats and everything moving because obviously they're going in and out for this beautiful time of day. So what I've done is bumped up the ISO to 800. Now the reason that I've done this is we're shooting at F9, bumping up the ISO to 800. What this does is increase the shutter speed. If I didn't do this, the boats might have a motion blur in them because F9 obviously lowers our shutter speed. So increasing that ISO is gonna increase the shutter speed sharpening, locking down the boats with the movement, but not increasing too much noise. But now I'm just gonna wait around for the lights to turn on in this beautiful place and get the next image, the time blend, which we obviously come here for, the beautiful image, the inspiration from a Lila Cardi. So just relax, chill out, and watch the world go by in Couture. Okay, there you have that image, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. But what I'm looking at now is just spectacular. Sunrise, sunset, what are you? <laughs> it's pretty hard to go past this sunset. I know it's the location, it's perfect for sunset, but this is just bliss looking over this old town. Now, what I've done, okay, we've exposed that image. Now, that was shot at about 10 minutes before sunset and then about 10 minutes after sunset. So I was shooting for a ray of about 20 minutes period. But now, I have not moved the tripod, and this gets back to my vlog from a couple of weeks ago. Seven reasons why you need a tripod. It has not moved. If I could cement it into the ground, I probably wouldn't because I need it back, but for this location, I would. It has not moved. People have walked past, held my breath, no one's kicked it, I almost kicked it, idiot me. But the reason being is because it is about half an hour later, Blue hour is gone and it's almost starting to do darkness. Okay, right now, every color in the sky is pretty much gone. The reason being is because everything underneath me what I'm looking at now has just lit up all these orange colors. But with that, we're still getting different types of light. Okay, so what I mean by that is there's two lights in particular. One on the ship, it is extremely, extremely bright. And for me, this is part of the focal point and also the church in the old town. These places are focal points. So what I'm doing is I'm still exposure blending. So I'm still doing three bracket exposuring, minus three, minus two, minus one, because zero is just reading out, but I can also, if minus one isn't good enough, I can bump up the highlights and whites in Lightroom before blending it in. But on the ship and on the church, these lights are so bright and I don't want them to just bang head out in the in the post-production side of things. 
So getting more images in camera before taking into post-production is very, very important. Then when I get into post-production, just blend it. I might take you through this next week, how I do the blending process for this because it's super simple, guys. Trust me, anybody can do this. I'm no magician, but I'm gonna shut up, enjoy this beautiful image of Blue Owl with the lights just blending in to give it that extra bit of spice, tasting absolutely juicy, here it is. Alrighty guys, that is me done for today. I'm really sorry I couldn't take you through around camera. It was very loud over there, plenty of people talking. It is a photographer's paradise. So unfortunately, I couldn't be at camera when I wanted to be, but you still witnessed this absolutely beauty of a place, Couture. Now, let me know in the comments below. One, have you been to Couture? Two, why not? And three, do you ever do time blending? Is it something you've heard of? Is it not something you've heard of? Is it something you will try? Because I guarantee you, this type of photography you cannot find on Instagram by iPhone photographers, Cybershot photographers, amateurs, because this takes time, effort, and patience. And that is why I love it so much. It is patience photography. It is professional photography. It is taking your photography to the next level. And that is why I love it. But guys, that is me done for today in this beautiful place, Couture. But hang around because there's so much more of this beautiful place called Montenegro to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Ciao.